everyone welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Bailey if you don't know me and I just post all kinds of videos relating to what is going on in my life but I am currently going into my fourth and final semester of nursing school I am so excited but also in utter shock and disbelief it has not set in that I'm about to be a nurse in like by the end of the year I will be a nurse crossing my fingers I passed the NCLEX, but that is just so crazy to think about that I'm gonna be a nurse. <sighs> so scary, but anyways, like I was saying, I post videos relating to nursing school, how to get through nursing school, my journey through nursing school, how I'm finding out about what kind of specialties I wanna do, working through the, oh, horrible, horrible monstrosity that is online nursing school through what has been happening. You guys know, I don't need to say it, but that is what I do on my channel. I try to bring you guys along to show you as much as I can about nursing school. And I haven't really done a lot of these sit down talking to you about nursing school videos in a while. So I thought that I would do one since I'm on my summer break and not a lot of nursing content is really happening for me to film for you guys other than studying for the NCLEX, which I will definitely and am planning on doing a video for in the future for you guys on how I particularly study for the NCLEX and how I'm preparing so early in advance. So for today's video, I thought I would sit down to do a little what's in my clinical bag video with you guys. I see these all over YouTube and I honestly loved watching these when I was getting ready to buy all of my supplies and books and everything for nursing school when I got in. Like that was one of the things I was most excited about was getting all of the like fun little gear and gadgets and stuff that I would get to be learning how to use throughout nursing school. So I thought now that I am almost done with nursing school, I should get on here and show you guys what I have filled my clinical bag with because it's not exactly what everyone else says in their clinical bag videos. I honestly think that there is a lot of stuff that you do need, but it, a lot of stuff is unnecessary and I think not worth spending your money on unless you get into nursing school and you realize, yeah, that's something that I really think would benefit me but not necessarily something to go right off the bat and purchase. But without further ado, let's just get right into the video. My clinical bag, this is the backpack. It's called the Perfect Backpack. It is from a brand called Happy Teeth and they were kind enough to send me this bag and you guys, this bag is the most amazing clinical bag I, have ever seen. I have been on the hunt for the perfect clinical bag throughout all of my semesters of nursing school and I have finally found one that is it's literally made for healthcare professionals you guys like it is every detail down to the T of what exactly a healthcare professional needs in their bag that they're going to be taking to work and students will be taking to clinicals it's really hard honestly to find a bag that's going to fit all of your needs as a healthcare professional like things get dirty not everything can mix together you have to then think about if you're going to bring lunch like that's an extra bag you have to carry now if you want to bring your like dirty scrubs dirty scrub shoes home like that's an extra bag you have to think of like lugging home or lugging to the hospital you know it's just so much stuff we have to like take to the hospital like most healthcare professionals at least most nurses i can't speak for all healthcare professionals but most nurses work 12 hour shifts so we basically have to bring like our entire lives to work because you're there for 12 hours, you're there for the entire day. Just like thinking of all the other things that you might need throughout the day, like tapstick, medicine, if you have a headache. There's just so, so many things you have to think about bringing to work so that you're fully prepared for a 12 hour shift. It's a lot, but this backpack literally like has a place for everything, guys. They literally thought of everything. So as you can see, starting from the outside, 
perfect place for your water bottle. I have the giant 40 ounce hydro flask and it fits in here perfectly. Not only is it exactly what I need to bring to my clinicals for nursing school, but it'll also be the perfect bag for once I become a nurse and I'm working those shifts you know so hydration definitely a must sometimes depending on the facility you're at for clinicals it might be hard to find water you might not have a lot of time to go off searching for where you can get water so i would suggest definitely bringing a water bottle already filled and ready to go for the full day for you another amazing feature about this backpack is it also has a place for your computer so we really don't have any time to go on the computer in clinicals. Honestly, we're not really allowed to really bring any electronic devices to clinical because we don't always have a super secure place to leave our bags. So our instructors don't want anything to get stolen, obviously. And then also there's always that risk of HIPAA violation if you are using electronic devices. I mean, you never know and nursing schools are very, very strict, way more strict than how things are gonna be when you actually become a nurse, but they just, they're very strict to prepare you and keep you professional. So my nursing school, we don't really bring electronics. I mean, most of the time we're not even allowed to bring our phones in, but if I ever wanna use this backpack for school, or if I ever have a skills lab or anything, simulation lab that I'm able to bring my computer, then, this is perfect. On the other side of the backpack is a bunch more small compartments. And in here, I just have a bunch of pens. This is just a fun little pen that my clinical instructor for OB gave us after we finished our OB rotation. Super cute. And then she also gave us a little syringe one, which it looks like all the liquid in it has already evaporated, sadly, but pens, having multiple pens, number one tip, I think, because you lose them everywhere. I've been a CNA now for over four years, so I already have experienced this firsthand. I would leave my pens literally everywhere. People would ask to borrow them. I would forget, they would forget. I would never get them back. Patients would ask to borrow them. It's just, you just go through so many pens as a nurse, as a healthcare professional, probably in any field, you just go through a lot of pens. So I would definitely recommend having a lot of pens in your backpack or bag or whatever you bring to clinical because it's definitely not a good look to be unprepared in front of whatever nurse you're gonna be shadowing. Some of them can be quite scary if they don't like you, if they don't wanna have a student. So always just best to be as prepared as possible if they need a pen from you if they want you to write something down really quickly you just you have it right there you know or if you gave it to someone you can say oh i'm gonna run back to my backpack and get another one instead of having to be awkward and be like okay i don't have a pen like who has a pen around you don't want that another thing i have in another one of the pockets is just a hand sanitizer can never have too much hand sanitizer you guys so this actually opens up and this goes inside the backpack you guys let me bring you down so you guys can see but this goes inside the backpack so inside here right now i just have some eye protection that we needed to go into clinical during covid and everything and then I also have some of my N95 masks in here. N95 masks. But this, okay, it can be as small as you want it to fit more stuff on the actual inside of the backpack, or it can be like as big as you want it. And this doesn't touch anything else in the rest of the backpack. So this is basically just like your own personal little germ compartment. I mean, it can be whatever you want, but what it is advertised to do is to hold either your dirty scrubs or your dirty shoes that you don't want to contaminate anything else that you're bringing home. Honestly, I know a lot of people will wear their shoes all the way home and then just leave them outside and don't bring them in. But I think 
even just tracking that stuff in your car, like you don't know what you've stepped on in the hospital. There's all kinds of nasty little things in there and you're just bringing that, I, I mean, you're not bringing it into your home, but you're still bringing it into your car, which your shoes that you wear in your house that aren't taken to the hospital still are gonna touch what's at the bottom of your car and bring it into your house, you know? So I think that this is so perfect to store your dirty shoes in but you can also use this to store your dirty scrubs if you want to change before you head home it literally has so many different like options on what you can use this compartment for and i think it's honestly such a genius idea for a healthcare professional because our shoes be getting nasty our scrubs be getting nasty but at the moment since i am not doing that because clinical and everything is not happening right now. I just keep my PPE in there. Next up, we will go to the front. So this front pocket is also another really interesting pocket. It is actually a compartment that is fully insulated. So it can be used as just a regular pocket to store pens, your phone, chapstick, I don't know, whatever you want to put in your bag, you know, but it can also be used as your lunchbox. So it can literally keep things like hot or cold. I think that is such an amazing feature. I just have some snacks in here because I get hungry all the time and I don't like being caught without any food to eat. I don't want to get hangry, you know? So I just keep some granola bars, some pistachios in there. And then another cool thing that this backpack comes with is a little hot and cold pack. And that's what those are called. Look at how cute this is, you guys. It is a little scrub top with the pen and the stethoscope. Like, that is so cute, you guys. And they have a bunch of different other options if you want something else. I think they have a tooth if you're a dentist or a dental hygienist student or any of that and then they also have a little pill so cute but look at that guys for my healthcare professionals out there this is so cute and it comes with directions on the back of how to use it how to make it cold how to make it hot you know that is such a cool feature in this little side compartment right here it has a little key leash which I think is so nice because at the end of a long shift, you don't want to be like searching through your bag trying to find your keys. At the moment, since I'm not going anywhere, obviously I don't have my keys in this bag. I just put my little ID that I had for one of the hospitals we were at last semester. Even if you don't have your keys on there, you can put your IDs on there so that you are keeping your IDs safe. You don't want to be wearing your IDs out and about for other people to see where you work or your full name or anything like that. Like there are creepers out there, you know? So it's really nice to, once you get off of work, you get your keys detached from the little key key leash to get into your car then you put your IDs on the key leash so that you know exactly where they are the next time you're on shift and also you're not giving away personal information to strangers and then in here I also have just a another little cotton mask I also keep an extra name badge for my school because if we don't have this it's a part of our uniform and we can get asked to be sent home like it's a really big deal if we don't have this so i have one that i always keep on my scrub top so that i never even have a chance of forgetting it but then i also keep one in my clinical bag just in case you never know you know and then i also just keep a little coin change purse thing in there a lot of times there are like vending machines and stuff at certain clinical spots that you go to depending on if you go to a hospital or a skilled nursing facility, your options might be different, but a lot of times they do have some kind of something that you can purchase stuff at food wise if you feel like you need it. So it's always nice just to have a little bit of change just in case, you know, you never know. Okay, now finally on into the inside. It can open up slightly just to open into the first little compartment or it can literally zip down, unzip the whole entire way, and you can just get into your whole bag. Like, look at the organization of this. 
Like this is perfect. So first up, I of course have my stethoscope. One of the things that I don't really think is very necessary is buying a stethoscope case. Like I said before, I've been a CNA for over four years now and I honestly didn't work with any nurses that ever kept their stethoscope in a case. So to me, when I was researching stuff to buy for nursing school, a case just seemed like a waste of money to me. However, if you feel the need to buy a case for your stethoscope to protect it, go right ahead. Don't let me stop you. But for me, like my stethoscope has been fine. Just me like throwing it into my bag. I don't know if that's like the best way to take care of it. But I mean, I feel like these, they're pretty like sturdy. Is that even the right word? They're very durable, that's the right word. They're very durable and I honestly don't think they're very easy to break. But if you guys are wondering, I just have the Litman Classic. I think that's what it's called. I will link it down below for you guys. This is something that you definitely need to invest in for nursing school is getting a good stethoscope. There might be a lot of cheap ones out there calling your bank account's name because Litmans are pretty pricey, not gonna lie. This was actually a gift from my boyfriend when I got into nursing school, so I was really grateful for that. This is definitely the perfect gift, but if not, you can do your research and find different websites that might sell them for a little bit of a discount, but I don't think you need like the most expensive, like $300, $400 stethoscope. You don't need to go that crazy, but you definitely need a good quality one because this is something that you are going to be using so much like this is going to become like your third arm you literally will be using this so much and all the sounds of the body that you have to hear with this are so hard to hear so hard to distinguish from one another breath sounds breath sounds are going to be the death of me you guys they're so confusing. They all sound the same. So it is definitely very, very important to get a good quality stethoscope so that you can actually accurately listen to breath sounds, bowel sounds, heart rate. Like you listen to so much with this and you need to accurately be able to like hear it, you know? because you use these in clinical exams and stuff where they will ask you to listen for breath sounds and you have to like tell them what you're hearing, you know? So just if I would give you one tip, it would be definitely invest in a good quality stethoscope. Another huge tip that I can give you guys for nursing school clinical in particular is one of these foldable, clipboard so i know that i have um hipaa information on the other side so now this might be a v-sim actually i'm not sure but i'm just not going to show you that side but it is a clipboard that folds in half you guys have probably seen these if not you are going to see these all over nursing school at almost every single nursing student i know has one of these they fit right into your scrub top so you can take them wherever it folds up all of your paperwork it's so nice because we have to bring these giant clinical packets to clinical to write about a certain patient so we have to come in with so much paperwork and sometimes you don't always have a place to sit and write like a flat surface so these are really nice because you can just write on them anywhere and you can keep all of your information with you hidden so no one can see what's written on the inside. And then they also have all of these lab values and different terminology and stuff. It has like all of the panels and like what they consist of and what the normal ranges are. I am injection sites, like all of this stuff is very, very helpful. Like the QRST complex, and oh yeah, you can use it as a pain scale. That's not really used for adults, honestly, but for kids, that helps a lot. And most of the time they're posted in the pediatric room anyway, so the kid can just look at the wall. But if not, to ask them how they're feeling, you ask them which smiley face they are, you know? This is so, so helpful. I highly, highly recommend it. I will link it down below. You can find them on Amazon. Another cool feature about this backpack is that you can literally take out this shelf and like 
not even use it and then have an even bigger open compartment. Personally, I like having the shelf in because then it separates this stuff. I just put it up here and it just sits on the little shelf and then it doesn't touch anything that's down here. So in this bottom compartment, this is the little germ container that I was telling you about. So if you have something really big that needs to, oh if you have something really big that needs to fit in here, then I mean, you just crumple it up and it's not in the way anymore. But in here, I just have two separate rolls of trash bags, little ones and big ones. This is a habit that I learned and have not been able to get rid of um, from being a CNA. So as a CNA, trash bags were like such a vital thing to have. Anytime you were changing briefs, anytime you were changing anything that was gonna get nasty, like you needed a trash bag and they were just so, so vital. And a lot of times we had to like find housekeeping if we were out of trash bags, which was always a pain. So I just learned to stock up and have my trash bags ready for me. This is definitely not something that is really needed as a nursing student but definitely helpful as a nurse to have trash bags. I mean, you never know if you need to help out your CNA and change a brief or something, or if maybe your CNA doesn't have trash bags and you have trash bags, if you're in the patient's room and they're like, oh, that trash is overflowing, can you please get it? You don't have a trash bag, you know? So I think it's definitely handy to keep trash bags in your bag but that's just me another thing i have in here oh these are just safety goggles that i never opened they were given to us by our school for you know protection and then another thing is a blood pressure cuff so this is just like your generic like most basic blood pressure cuff i don't think you need to get anything really that fancy honestly we only really used this blood pressure cuff in the very beginning of nursing school when we were learning vital signs which i already knew because i was a cna but it's definitely good to practice you won't always have an automatic blood pressure cuff machine and it can be really easy to just like use that all the time and then forget how to take a manual blood pressure and if any time that reading on the automatic blood pressure is inaccurate or weird in any way you have to verify with a manual blood pressure so it is always good to have that knowledge and to be able to like practice every once in a while with this but it's not something that needs to be fancy plus most hospitals will have a manual and an automatic they'll probably have multiple of both so having your own isn't really very necessary this was actually given to us by my school it was in our i guess like fees that we paid to get everything this is one thing that i would say to wait on i honestly had no idea that we were being given blood pressure cuffs until first day of skills lab so up until then i had been looking on amazon to buy a blood pressure cuff they were just a little expensive so i had just never gone through with it and i'm glad i didn't because i literally got one for free well not free because i paid for it and my fees or whatever i'm pretty sure but you know what i mean i didn't buy i didn't need to buy two okay so that is one thing i would say wait on this unless it specifically says in your like nursing school handbook or whatever information they send you when you get into nursing school if they specifically say you need this then get it but if not i would wait and see if it's provided for you or it, or if it's even required by your program at all i mean it's nice to have it to practice at home but a lot of the times they have more than enough blood pressure cuffs to practice in skills lab so next on to all of these little tiny compartments up here so this whole front of the backpack is divided into so many different organizational little pockets so down here in this plastic one i just keep all of my stuff that gets patient interaction because it's a little more sanitary it's covered so all the germs can't spread all over everything else in this pocket so first off i just have some random medical supplies like a 24 gauge iv needle and some alcohol prep pads 
if you guys are healthcare professionals or a nurse, an LPN, a CNA, any of that, or you've already experienced this in nursing school clinical, you know that things get thrown into your pocket and then you don't need them and then you just forget about them and then you end up going home with them. It happens all the time, these things. And the little bacteria, antibacterial caps that put they put on the IV lines, those are just like in your pockets 24 seven. So those always get brought home with you and then it always just ends up, I always just throw it into my bag and then honestly never really use it again because the hospital has a plethora of that stuff anyways, but there's that you guys don't know why I have an IV needle, but it is what it is. Next up, I have my pulse oximeter. So I actually bought this as a CNA because it's so handy to have for taking vital signs. I definitely recommend purchasing one of these. It's not really a necessity in terms of what your nursing school is going to require you to have, but I do think it comes in very, very handy. You don't have to go in search of the nurse on the stick if you're at a long-term care facility or something like that to go take a pulse ox you just have this in your pocket and you can take it you get a pulse and a pulse ox right away this was just a cheap one i found on amazon i just liked it because it was pink and it matched my stethoscope another thing i have in here is tape so this is another thing that if you're just in nursing school, you might not know yet, but tape is very hard to come by as a nurse. It is always being scooped up, snatched up. People, they'll get a roll from the supply room and they'll hold on to it. And it's just, it's a hot commodity in the nursing world. So it's always good to have your own spare roll of tape. So I just have that in here. I also have a dry erase board marker. It is very important to have one of these because most facilities that you go to are going to have a whiteboard in the patient's room. And that is where they write patient's name, any like pertinent medical history, um, what lines they're on, when their next med passes, what kind of orders they have, like if they're NPO or anything like that. That's all stuff that's gonna get written on this board, like, or when their last pain pill was, stuff like that. So you have to have one of these because sometimes they have them like in each patient's room, but sometimes they don't, you know, you never know. So it's always just good to have one so that you can write on your patient's whiteboards whenever you need to. Another thing I have in here is just an oxygen key. I don't know if many of you have ever seen one of these. This is another thing that I brought with me from being a CNA. So we were constantly having to change out people's oxygen tanks. I know in the hospital that isn't as big of a deal because the oxygen comes from the walls. But if you're ever transporting anyone or have to switch them to an oxygen tank, that tank might not be open yet. So this is how you open it and you, you can't open it with anything else. Like you need an oxygen key and this is another thing that was a really hot commodity in my nursing facility that I was working in as a CNA. It was so, oh my God, it was such a pain to find oxygen keys. So when they got a new shipment in, they handed out an oxygen key to every single employee and they're like, this is yours, keep it because you know how these things just get lost and you can never find one. And then what are you gonna do when you need to open an oxygen tank? So. If you ever see these around, I would say snatch one and put it in your pocket so you always have a key and you don't have to be running around like a chicken with your head cut off when you need to get someone on a new oxygen tank and you can't open the tank. Next up is my pen light. This is just a basic one I got on Amazon. I will link it below for you guys, literally like, nothing special about it but definitely a necessity for a nurse nursing student to be carrying around to test neural functioning reflexes all that stuff next up in my little medical pocket are these bandage cutting scissors so these were also given to us by our school so 
these were two things that were given to us on the first day of clinical bandage scissors and a blood pressure cuff so like i said about the blood pressure cuff bandage scissors were another thing that i had been looking at on amazon for a while since i had gotten accepted in a nursing school because i wanted like some cute pink ones having scissors is definitely a necessity as a nurse like you need these in your pocket you are always going to need bandage scissors and i would definitely say to purchase them but wait because you don't go into clinical right away so just wait until your first couple days of class and skills lab and see if you are being provided anything by your school if not then i would say definitely go out and purchase a pair of these and then in the next two pockets i just have some toiletries i have another hand sanitizer this is the eucalyptus mint stress relief scent from bath and body works my absolute favorite scent guys i literally have like everything from that scent collection i'm obsessed and then I also have a little digital watch. So I know a lot of nursing programs are really weird about whether or not they'll allow you to have an Apple watch. So I had to actually go out and purchase this before clinical. This was actually a huge part of our uniform. We had to have a watch like this. And if your nursing school isn't going to allow Apple watches, I would suggest getting one make sure it has the second hand so you can see the second for when you're doing vital signs and stuff like that this was like super cheap at walmart so you don't need anything fancy you know and i only really wore that for like my first couple skills labs and clinicals and then we asked our clinical instructor and she said apple watches were fine with her so i switched to apple watches and ever since then i've just worn my apple watch every single time and no clinical instructor has said anything but i always have that watch here with me just in case because i'm not getting kicked out and sent home just because i wore my apple watch and i don't have a regular watch so keep that in mind just in case if you're gonna bend the rules like me make sure you have a backup plan okay and then just in the other pocket i have some fun little girly things you know and then some chapstick then on top of that there is another giant pocket this goes all the way down to the bottom i don't have anything in there though at the moment and then the back another giant pocket that goes all the way down you guys so in this pocket i just have a bag of masks that was given to us by our school and then i also have a box of kleenex you know in case of emergencies you never know when you're gonna need it and then i also have some lotion in here with using hand sanitizer and washing your hands like the amount of times that nurses do with all the nastiness we deal with your hands get so so dry and i hate the feeling of dry hands i literally can't stand it so i have to have lotion with me i have to have lotion with me so i bring it in my bag and i think that is it i just have another spare pen up here i don't know if i already said that but i think i went through all of the pockets well you guys i guess that is all for my what's in my clinical bag thank you so so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed i hope this helped you i hope i was able to give you guys some good tips and tricks for starting nursing school for being prepared for clinicals what you need what you might not necessarily need to spend your money on like i said every nursing school is different so don't just solely take my word for it make sure to do your research and look into the paperwork and information that your nursing school has given you on what they are going to require and what they are going to look for for you to have when starting nursing school but anyways like i already said but i'm gonna repeat it again thank you guys for watching um like comment subscribe uh, let me know what you guys think about this if you have any questions of course drop them in the comments below i love talking to you guys and if you have any other suggestions for more nursing content videos that you want me to do please leave them below i'm here for all of the suggestions you guys it is very hard to come up with content so anything you guys want just let me know and i'll try to get it done for you and as always i will see you all in my next video